What's up everyone, Kuban Armani 456 here today to my Let's Play on Sonic Adventure 2 Battle HD. So last time we did Eternal Engine, Meteor Herd, and defeated Rouge the Bat, and now we're going to continue on and do Crazy Gadget. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this stage because it is very, very difficult, in fact, very frustrating as well. I had to restart this stage a couple of times because of how I glitched out in some areas and I was just screaming my head off so I was like I can't upload this so I restarted it but anyway let's see right here we have a cutscene I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog our plan was perfect until Eggman snatched Amy Eggman said he'll trade his Amy for the Emerald I have to think about that one there's no time to joke Eggman's ready to fire that weapon again Tails, Amy, hold on, I'm coming no time for games? Let's do this! Alright. So yeah, um... You know, ugh, this stage though, it's so frustrating. But here we are, Crazy Gadget, hurry and find Eggman. So yeah, this stage, like I said, it's pretty fun if, you know, you know, you can like avoid these like artificial blue chaos enemies and stuff like that. I think that's what they're called, I'm not exactly sure. But um... Mostly it's those enemies that are the real problem, and then also some of the glitches in these stages and these switches are annoying too. Even though they kind of do, uh, what is it? Lead to some interesting stage design with gravity and all. Still, it kind of gets annoying, but, you know. I mean, the stage is pretty fun. It's got a lot of platforming, got a lot of, um, speed areas and stuff. It has a good mix of everything. And difficulty as well. In fact, it's very, very difficult. I think it's actually Sonic's most difficult stage. Like, especially that last ending part with the puzzle and all. I know exactly how to beat it, but I remember when I first played this game, my gosh, was that hell. Holy balls, man. I, I like, when I was younger, in fact, I had to actually take a break from this game for, like, two weeks because of that stage. I was just like, I can't play this game anymore. And I, I was sitting around trying to figure out how to get through the stage for, like, three hours. It was terrible. Oh, my gosh. See, right there, you... Yeah, usually you want to pull left right there and avoid that dude, but sometimes he's so impossible to avoid, it's terrible. Okay, jump right there, get the one up, and boom. Nicely done. Alright. Actually missed the, uh, what is it? Checkpoint, but we're not going to need it. Checkpoints are for noobs. You can't beat the game. Beat the stage without losing, even though I have done that with other stages like... Knuckles and tails, but you know, it's all good. In the hood. I like these tube things though, they kind of remind me of the death egg a bit. Alright. Anyway, let's progress. But yeah, let me know if you um, always had trouble with this stage, like, you know, with the puzzle section and all, because I mean, oh, well, by the way, I already did it because, you know, I did have to restart this stage, but see right there, go right there, that's where the flame ring is, and, uh, yeah, basically allows you to do the fire somersault, as you see right there. Very cool move. Okay, come right here, hold the back right there. Skip that dude altogether, because he is annoying. Like, all these enemies are annoying. Freaking piss me off all the time. But yeah, let me know, uh, if you had trouble on this stage, like, when you were a child, like, in your childhood and all, because I think almost all of us have, it's just that, you know, I don't know. Sometimes it takes some of us longer to actually figure out what it is you have to do in order to beat the stage. But here we go, Skadoosh! Okay, jump right here, get that golden beetle. Okay, take him out, and there we go. So far, we're doing pretty well right here. What? I like it in there! I hit him from behind! He didn't even shoot backwards, and it still hit me? See there, it's stuff like that that really gets me upset about the stage. So those darn enemies. In fact, I actually think the next stage after this is a lot easier to do. Like, it's kind of crazy actually, because you'd think that the final level is harder, but apparently it's not. So far, we're doing very well on time, so I think that's what's going to help us a lot on this stage. Even though we are somewhat low on the rings, so... Okay. Will you do the... Oh my gosh, man. Sometimes Sonic can be so impossible at times, or this game can be so impossible with the controls. Ugh. Alright, but yeah, this is the puzzle room where stuff gets really difficult, sometimes confusing at times. 
always got to be on your toes with this gravity stuff, because if you make one slip up, you're going straight into the bottomless pit, and you dead. You dead. Okay, skadoosh. There you go. But yeah, basically just follow what I'm doing, and you will get through this puzzle no sweat. As long as, you know, I don't die, that is. I can't guarantee that, though. Skadoosh! Nice. Okay, hug this corner right here to avoid the enemy. Okay, hit that spring. Alright. So far, so good. Just take it slow. Alright. Now, right here. See here, you have to actually come this way so that you can hit this switch right here in order to unlock the section down there where you see the goal ring over there. That's basically what you gotta do. Okay, take him out. Alrighty. Set that down. Hit the switch. And skadoosh! Oh, right under five minutes, man. That was tight. That was tight. Alright, let's see what we, what we get here. Please give me an A rank. Oh my gosh, we got an A rank for sure. Woo! That was cool! Oh yes, that was awesome, man. That was like my second try on this recording because like I said I just had to restart like once and then there you go that was pretty awesome though so we got 33 minutes left oh man here we go big confrontation A freaking ginormous gun at her head, Sonic. Hand over the chaos emerald slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for a girlfriend. Handing over the fake emerald, I can kill two birds with one stone. Put the emerald down right there and back off. Oh, look at that smirk. I love it. <laughs> You've turned into a big time villain, Doctor. This is the only game you ever asked. <laughs> oh, oh, snap! <gasps> you thought you could trick me with that fake emerald, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real one? Tails! Oh my! Tails, you freaking idiot! My gosh, I just want to slap you right now. Now Sonic's going to die because of him. This is why I not stand Tails. He almost he's he's about he got Sonic killed right here. Take care of yourself. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my gosh. No! Oh, here we go. Now signs are gonna go into beast mode. Alright then, so Tails is now going to seek vengeance for what Eggman did to Sonic, killing him, so now we must take him down. He's got some nice armor on him, actually. Look at that. Looking all snazzied up and everything. I wish I had that armor. Come on, come over here, you big fat Eggman. Eggman, come on, take that. Take that in the face. What the heck, man? Okay, there we go. So far, so good. Boom! Alright. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. What? Whoa, I died? Whoa, was it? Okay. I can't believe I just died right there. I don't know if I've died on this boss before. I think I have, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh gosh, that hit me. Okay. 
No! Wow! He put me out of commission again! No! What the heck? I've never had this much trouble before. Holy balls, man. Daddy. Boom! What? Well, he was about to die! No! Oh my gosh, how am I having this much trouble? I had I actually punched him, but then he managed to do that big giant ginormous like shoot you in the face laser. And then I die. No. No. No! How how am I having this much trouble? No, this is impossible, man. This can't be happening. This can't be happening, man. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's nearly annihilated me in one hit! Oh! Look at that! He's like doing the... Oh, there we go! We got him! Holy crap! Final! How did I have that much trouble on that boss? Why? Oh, there's not I feel there. some strange energy. Oh snap! Sonic! Hey Sonic! Whoa, I wasn't sure if I could pull that one off. Somehow I managed to use the chaos control. Chaos control? Are you okay? I'm worried about Tails and Amy. I hate to ask, but could you help them? This is our last chance. I got it. Boy, cannon fires. I'll slam dunk it in there. Let's do this. All right, here we are going on to the final stage, final rush, and this is one of the best stages in this game, mostly because of the amazing environment. Like, look at this stage. It looks absolutely stunning in HD. I mean, look at the earth and the background. It's so beautiful. But yes, um, yeah, this stage is a ton of fun, but I want to go on and say this right now. That cutscene we just saw has to be one of the best cutscenes in the hero's story. In fact, in this game, because it's like, you, we actually get to see, like, Sonic use a fake Chaos Emerald to do Chaos Control. That's just insane. And yeah, I kind of failed right there hitting that spring, but it's all good because I was coming down here anyway to do a shortcut, and we just basically shaved like maybe 10 to 15 seconds right there. So it all worked out right there. See, I got skills. I can roll with that. <laughs> but yeah, it's like... I think I think actually that cutscene right there kind of shows how Sonic one up Shadow still because he's like he can do chaos control with a fake chaos emerald. That's just insane. In fact, I, it's it's just amazing in my opinion. I don't know, but it's kind of funny though because in some of the later games you'll actually see Shadow use chaos control and stuff, and you wonder how the heck did he get that chaos emerald when in some games it's like you have to collect all seven chaos emeralds in special stages like. Um, Sonic Heroes, actually, is one example. It's like, how did you get that chaos? Some people are like, it's fake! I don't know, though, but it's just kind of funny to me. But anyway, yeah, um, more about this stage, though. The grinding is so much fun. This stage is one of my favorite stages, like I said, because of the amazing level design. It's just so vast and ginormous. And it's so fast-paced, like, it's awesome. You just feel like you're going super... Oh my gosh, what the heck are you doing, Sonic? There's a guardrail there for a reason, idiot. <laughs> anyway, though, I digress. Whoa, I actually almost made that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm pretty good with the stage, you know. Um, I can make a decent time, usually under five minutes. Uh, I know, though, that's not the best, because... Believe me, there are people on YouTube who have been this stage in like one minute and like 15 seconds or whatever. Like, I don't know if you all have heard of like Person on the Earth and stuff like that dude. He does insane speed runs on like stages like this. Like, it's like they'll just be like, screw, screw the stage and all. We are going to run up these buildings in the background and everything and just skip like 
50 to 75 percent of the stage because we roll like that it's it's incredible it's like how do these people do this like it must take them years to actually hone their skills on these stages and use crazy speed runs like that but yeah anyway as i was saying i think i'm pretty decent with this stage because i have played this stage a lot it's a lot of fun you know some people have problems with the grinding and stuff and while i admit this stage does get kind of glitchy at times with the grinding since there are rails galore all over the place it's still a lot of fun whoa yes that was awesome right there that trick he just like spun around and everything it was awesome okay here we go here we go but yeah let me know your fastest time on the stage because i would love to hear what your fastest time is because like i said I mean, I think I'm decent at this stage, you know, I know a few shortcuts and all, and there's some that are harder to execute, which I'm not going to be doing in this let's play, because that would be almost suicidal, <laughs> but, you know, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, 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 watch it, make sure you pull back there a bit so that you won't fly off and die, and then cry and smash your controller on the floor, just rage. Yeah, because I do that. <laughs> Almost all the time, as y'all probably saw my stream. With. Oh! Okay! Whoa! That was close. I thought it was tough to die there. With Smash Bros. Brawl. <laughs> I rage quit it. Okay, jump! Awesome sauce. Okay. Get him right there. Okay, hit that bomb switch so that you um, destroy that dude over there because it's pretty hard to get past that dude. So. And here we are about to come to the ending, so... Okay, what the heck? Will you stop doing your bounce bracelet? Okay, spin dash. And we're about to come to the end right here. There we go, and... Go ring. Let's see what we get here. I'm pretty sure we get an A rank. Because we're like totally owned on that stage. Come on, come on baby, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. You know you want to? Yes! A rank, baby! Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome. That was so awesome. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know, space. what can I say? I die hard. <laughs> a little bit of line. You actually saved me, you know. It was a chaos signal, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the chaos control using an emerald that's fake. So there's more to you than just looking like him. What are you anyway? What you see is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventure days are coming to an end. Alrighty then, let's do this. So now we have to face against Shadow. This is going to be quite difficult actually, because now he's he means business right here. He's not playing around. So yeah, get one homing attack on him first. And then, now he's going to get a bit smarter after these first two hits right there, as you see. Oh yeah, by the way, did I mention you got to be on your toes a lot? Because, oh my gosh, he's running on the rail right there like an idiot. Ooh, that was close. Um, yeah, you got to be on your toes because if you keep homing attacking him and stuff like that, that's not going to help you beat him. Oh, nice, we got a hit on him. Awesome. Yeah, make sure you spin dash and stuff like that if you do fall behind him. Fact, that's what we're about to do right here. Here we go. Oh my gosh! No! Whoa! Holy crap, man! That was close, okay. There we go, we got him again. Awesome, we're actually on a roll here. But yeah, you gotta make sure that uh, you avoid his attack, like his thunder shooting and stuff like that. You should be fine. Oh man, I missed him. Yeah, I recommend though doing the. Uh, what is it? doing the um, spin dash and the light speed dash while on this stage so you can just keep up with them and kind of beat them. Okay, now right here, just wait. 
Alright, here we go. Oh, I missed them! Darn it! I was so close to getting him, too. Okay, jump! Okay, keep on running. Alright, he's going to shoot at me now. Oh, I missed him again! Gosh darn it, why am I doing terrible here? I've been able to beat this guy in under, like, a minute, so... Here we go. No, what?! There we go, now he's done, alright. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It's like I almost spun dash, I almost spun dash, like, through him. It was weird. But there we go, Shadow has been vanquished, and now Sonic must be dead. Off screen, of course. And now Tails gets a chance to actually do it if he wants to. Sonic, I did it. Awesome job, Tails. Sonic! Look outside! Oh yeah! Sonic saves the day once again! Awesome sauce! So yeah, there we go. We have finished Sonic's story. And, I'm sorry, not Sonic's story. Team Hero's story. Wait, Team Hero's story? I'm mixing up... I'm freaking mixing, <laughs> mixing up Sonic Heroes now. We completed the Hero story in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So, that was awesome. I gotta say, I have had so much fun doing, like, you know, this Let's Play so far. In fact, this is actually one of my favorite Let's Plays I've done so far, because, you know, this game is just so awesome. Like, it brings back so many memories. It's one of the best 3D Sonic games you could ever play. And, uh, you know, I mean, I've loved this game to death. I mean, it's, it's amazing, and it's just so glad to finally experience this all again in HD. <laughs> So, but yeah, we got uh, Sonic's little catchy song right here. Never give up the fight. Long as the, I don't know, the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> but, yeah. It doesn't matter who is wrong or who is right. Oh man, I love this tune. It's so awesome. But yeah, I guess I'll go on and give my opinion so far about the game. Um,. You know, it's a ton of fun to play. I mean, like I said, you know, this game is a classic. I mean, it's just like three... Sonic's gameplay in this game is so good. Like, there's a good mix of platforming, a great mix of speed. And if you feel like you have amazing control over him, like, in fact, I think this game has better control of Sonic in, like, the 3D world than any other game. Even Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors, I can fully admit that. Um, tail stages, they're pretty fun as well with the mech and all, even though, you know, I think they kind of could have kept that with Eggman alone instead of putting it on Tails as well, but I can kind of see where they were going with, you know, trying to make both teams kind of like equal, I guess, with Sonic, you know, and Shadow having the speed stages, Knuckles and Rouge having the treasure hunting, and then, uh, Tails and Eggman having the mech stages, but yeah, tail stages are pretty fun as well. Um, Knuckle stages, eh, mixed bag. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, they're, they're pretty fun at times. It's just that, you know, the later stages can be really, really frustrating and annoying. But... Oh, listen to that. Matter! And yes, 10th anniversary of Sonic. This is when this game came out, but, um... You know, for all the people who are wondering so far, should they buy this game? Even though I haven't, you know, I mean, I've played this game before. I know how this game plays and all. Um, I definitely recommend buying this game. For $10, it is a steal. Eggman steals the research from a military base located on an island to the south. The military's top secret weapon, Shadow. Sealed in the space colony park, the Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, world conquest will be at hand. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Long live the Eggman Empire. 
Oh my gosh, that cutscene was epic right there. But yeah, um, as I was saying, for all the people who are wondering, should they buy this game? Yes, I definitely recommend this game. This is one of the best 3D Sonic games you could ever play. One of the best Sonic games you could ever play. And it's only $10 on next generation con- on, I mean, the current generation consoles in HD and all. And then also, it's probably going to be coming out, well, Sega said that it's going to be coming out on Steam sometime in the next month or so, so you can just imagine how many mods people are going to be making. Heck, who knows, maybe someone will even manage to put online play into the game. That would increase the replay value of this game tenfold, but yeah, anyway, um, Hero Story was freaking awesome to play as. I'm glad that I got A ranks on all of Sonic stages and could show you all that, even though, you know, I did have to restart the stages a couple of times because of glitches and you know, fails and stuff like that, but I think I did pretty well in uh, Sonic Story, you know, with Sonic and Tails, even though I did get a couple of bad ranks with Tails and Knuckles, but, you know. Uh, but anyway, enough of my rambling. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, please remember to comment, to like, and subscribe, stay tuned for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video, and, uh, you know, like I said, if you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment. It helps out a ton, and, uh, you know, next time we'll be doing the Dark Story, and I'm very, very excited about that, because that's one of the coolest things about this game, um, how you can actually switch between the good team, the good side, and then the bad side. It's, like, pretty awesome to kind of see both, um, you know, both sides of the game and the characters and all, but, yeah, we'll be doing that next time, so thanks again for watching. See you all. Have a good day. Peace. Goodbye, mates.